Hi, welcome. Janet Ferraro here. This is the list of supplies I use to create this drawing. And I will put a complete list with the brands in the description box below. I like to begin my drawing using soft vine charcoal. I find that it creates beautiful soft passages and blends very easily into kind of a smoky charcoal appearance on the paper. Now I'm establishing some of the detail of the horse's face, giving it some structure as the drawing will continue to unfold. I'm using a paper towel to create the soft passages. I'm using a sheet of tracing paper here to protect the white part of my paper. I want it to stay crisp and white there, which will lend itself to the composition. I'm now using a charcoal pencil, and this is a much harder charcoal, so you want to be uh, intentional where you place it because it would not be as easy to erase. I'm using the soft vine charcoal again, and you'll find that it's very forgiving. You can be a little more fluid in how you're creating your drawing because it will erase very easily and it will blend very easily. And now I am establishing that windswept feeling through the mane. You want to feel the movement. It gives more vitality in life because this horse is a living, breathing, beautiful animal. And that is what I'm trying to convey through this drawing. I'm now doing some blending with the blending stump, which is a wonderful tool, creates creating soft passages and really defining the darks. This is the powdered charcoal that I'm using now, and this is really fun to use as well. You can dip a dry paintbrush into the charcoal and create wonderful soft passages again. And it's just another way of expressing and drawing that creates an interesting result. It's fun to mix it up, really. I'm now using a pencil that's actually an eraser. I recently found these and wow, they are really fun to use. They really create wonderful detail. And this that I'm using now is a kneaded eraser, which also just pulls the charcoal right off the paper. It works much uh, easier to pull the charcoal off the paper if it's the vine charcoal uh, once you get into the compressed charcoal, which I usually bring in midway through the drawing, uh, that doesn't remove so easily. So you want to be careful and choose your char charcoal wisely. I am now using a chamois cloth. It's actually called an artist chamois and I purchased it at the art store. And it also does a beautiful job in blending. And once the charcoal is actually on the chamois, sometimes I'll use the part of the chamois that has charcoal on it to create more interesting effects in my drawing. It's really a great thing to do to just experiment with these different art supplies to see where they can take you in your creative process. I am now beginning the uh, process of using the compressed charcoal. This really does have the deepest tone and really does lend itself well in establishing the darks. And it is more permanent, it is more difficult to remove, so 
These are areas that I am very certain I want to be deep and dark. And I'm now reestablishing the lights with some eraser work and pulling the details of the horse's muzzle and face forward. And as I'm demonstrating, you can use your fingers as a blending tool. And that even makes it more fun for me to really be up close and personal and get my fingers right into it. The oil in your fingers does not affect the archival quality of the drawing. So just have fun. That is why we're here. So my drawing looks complete and it's time to apply a fixative. I like to use the workable fixative and after shaking the can well for two minutes, I dispense a small amount from the nozzle with the can upside down. This clears the nozzle. And then I apply two light coats, one hour apart. And there she is. Thank you for joining me today and I please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos soon.